a long, long time ago, and that throw has remained the same. But it's Boris first down to a finish. Yeah, won't get the crack at double, though. Six. Anderson. Well, come on. It's a great way to start a match, but might be asking a bit too much at this point. And it is. But I've known Boris quite a long time. Back to soft at tournaments, actually, and he's always been formidable. Yeah, something we might try and mention. Said how good he is at doubles. See if he makes me look good. Thank you, Boris. Well, thankfully, he's better at doubles than big singles. <laughs> but the one advantage to hitting the one the first dart was it wasn't blocking the tops. Throwing your darts in doesn't solve the problem. I guess you throw yourself in. Well, I threw my darts in the lake and I missed. <laughs> On occasion, it would be iced over. The skid right across the other side. Shanghai again for Boris. So he needs that treble 20. It's a good camera angle just to see that he had that eyesight. To see that treble. And this would settle Anderson down. It's kind of needed to do settle down because he leaves. Well, he wouldn't want to leave Boris the same out he took in the first leg. And he does get it done. He needs to take this set, in my mind. It's the Canadian I didn't understand. It's the accent. <laughs> Don't even go there with Jordy. <laughs> Two of the best finishes in the world of darts. The biggest of them all. Well, I built you up, Gary. Well, we, we can try and do that, Glenn, but they, they have to decide whether they want to or not, or, or whether they're going to at least. Well, treble 17. Yes, and a ball to win set one. Go! Reeling the legs off, sort of a little bit in shock last night when the very likable Brendan as Gary Anderson looks at treble 19 for the ball. Oh, he didn't miss by much. It was a steady effort, wasn't it? Needs the treble. Chance for Anderson. Potential breaker throw. Back to double eight. Sweet as a nut. Yeah, superb stuff. And Gary's found a way through to now have the throw to try and wrap this set up. I say easy, that's when it's single to double. This is for the set. 25. Or three to one hundred and sixty-one. It's been here before. Well, that is a bit surprising. We fully expected him to, to get that after his previous successes there. This may hurt. Yeah, he's disappointed with that himself. And so now it's double four, though, new target. And the target is it this time, it's double two, but Gary Anderson does take that second set. This is for parity. We know what happens when he needs a double. Wow, that wasn't too far off that double eight. And Gary gets something special. Oh, he can. Perfect. He'll be disappointed on that one. Yeah, I was about to say it's all about the first dart, and that was perfect. To go all the way in this set, Boris Pitchmar is playing his part in a beautiful game. Well, we had a lot of breaks to throw early going, but I think we've we have five legs in a row now with the throw. I mean, we talk about enjoying matches when they're played well and you're in the midst of them. Now, Gary, we know about, but I think Boris is enjoying the, the well, challenge here. I mean, a lot of people just be afraid of it, full stop, but I think he's savoring it. Yeah, people talk about the wannabe at a certain stage. 
part of me thinking that's where I come for. I wanted to be in the last 32. And I think we're seeing the very, very best of him, but it's Gary on 90. What a set. What a player. Boris Krishmar once again played his part there, but Gary Anderson put the afterburners on with a set average of 112.48. I would tell you that, but yeah, he's the winning the first set now. He's got the throw here in this set to level it. Double nine. Oh, and that's like the worst thing you can do on a dartboard. Bust on the adjacent double, your first dart. It's such a painful feeling. Yeah, you feel sick to the stomach, and the crowd are getting behind Gary. He'll go treble 14. For his beloved tops, yeah. what a steal that is! Listen to that crowd. Look at the trajectory of that dart there. The 180 is Gary Anderson will hit another seven in this match already. 12 for the tournament. Yes, and the, and the Ali Pali audience are warming up the tonsils for the 180 cheers. This is going to be a lot more tonight. Right on cue, John. You gotta love it to leave double seven. Well, you have to love that composure for Boris to get save the set. Gary Anderson do that in style. It's double twelve. And Boris doesn't really have much hope now of prolonging the set. He's going to have to rely on a Gary error. And he needs a treble. Gary Didn't get it. 24. They did leave the 161 again. Yeah. Oh, double 12 says no to that opportunity. Gary. Gary Anderson, he's up three sets to one. And he's reeled off three consecutive, in fact. He did lose the first set, but he has no thoughts of losing in mind. Price last night, very sensible player. 75 left, so you should be looking at treble 17. It's double 12, the victory. Well, his, his previous best out in the match, 102. So that would have been some kind of finish. And nothing for Boris. 81, there you go on 24. And the flying Scotsman accelerates to the last 16. It was a brilliant performance from Gary in the end, despite losing that opening set. But fair play to Boris Kritschmar, who come out the traps very, very nicely in that game. And Gary Anderson looks a very relieved, very happy man. It was professional, it was clean, it was clinical. We expected nothing less. in the arena but bunting here in control of like form 38 being able to set up if he can't take the 138 another one of them double 12 for 138 brilliant from bunting and we have a deciding leg in the opening set these are going to be the big legs in this match 129 can be awkward, but because of the opportunity to set up, you'd expect Michael to get a one set lead from here. Yeah, good pick off. And all Bunting can do is apply a bit of pressure, but it should be Van Gouwen hitting the front. Tell you what, this is a brilliant leg from the Dutch master. Throwing for the, a crucial first set. Michael, you require. Leaves 36 after 12. That'll do. That'll do nicely for the tournament favourite, Michael Van Gerwen. Bunting needs to react. Lost his first set of the tournament. And Van Gerwen's wrestled the darts away here. Just hanging in there. It's a brilliant leg. 87 after nine. What a leg from Van Gerwen. Worth mentioning, by the way, the winner in the quarterfinals on New Year's Day will play the Scott Williams or Damon Hesser. Michael require 87. First of five sets in the quarterfinals. It's Van Gouwen on the Game hunt for the, for the first break leg. and gets the Man first break of this match. Leg, and it's firm first. advantage now, the tournament Game. favourite. He won the opening set and he's broke Stephen Bunting er, Bunty early in the second. Throughout this match. And a loose one from Van Gouwen may allow Stephen six at this. So to break straight back. 
The setup's key now. Yeah, sensible last one. I could require 125. Trouble 20. The bunting here has been given a chance to hit straight back. As you say, got to take 65. these opportunities. Saving the required 72. Crowd finding their voices. Urging him on. This is big for Stephen. Aggressive. Ah, oh, clean it for from Stephen Bunting. So impressive. Dropped his throw in the opening leg, but breaks straight back in this second set. And it was decisive finishing from Stephen. Back on throw. Big opening now for Michael. Wow. I did say steady tons, one trouble visit. Not going to be enough against a, a player of Van Gerwen's calibre. How well has Van Gerwen done to put himself in this position after starting with, with 42? And some set darts to put Michael Van Gerwen halfway to the quarterfinals. 94. Van Gerwen finding it when it really matters. Topped. Two sets to nil, Michael Van Gerwen, he turned the screw, we felt it was a lag in the set that Stephen Bunting had to win, but Michael Van Gerwen is stamping his authority all over this clash. At the moment, too good. Stephen, you require 100 and... Stephen will be disappointed because he knows he's been playing better. Yeah, you see gesturing with his arm there, just not finding that range on the second dart. He, he did fancy that as well, it was a great lie. That will hurt. And Van Gerwen knows it. He knows it because Bunting was waiting again and... It's now four legs on the spin for Michael Van Gerwen. In leg play, match play, 8-4 in Van Gerwen's favour. As you said, the, the deciding legs of the first couple of sets pretty much deciding the outcome of this game as it stands. Bunting to get one of the breaks he needs in this set. And he gets it in style. That's more like it from Bunting. He had a 1 3 8 in the opening set. He's had a 1 2 5 to get it back on throw here. It's to convert them into winning sets. He throws here to level up, and we could then go to the huge task for Bunting if this goes in. There's a little reprieve. Opportunity for Bunting. He's had a couple of ton plus finishes had one in the previous leg. The crowd doing their best. To boost the Bunting belief. Sadly for Bunting, not good enough. And it's three sets to nil to Michael Van Gerwen. And he, at the moment, at the moment, is cruising towards the World Championship quarterfinals. Eight maximums. Moves himself a two data. Bunting who gets a look first here. Keep the set on throw. Again, small margins. And Van Gerwen breaks here. Seven. He will throw for the match. Game shot in the third leg. Michael Van Gerwen has been ruthless. To the broad as well, Stu. Three sets Game up. And a breaker. He's letting his opponent know. 
from Bunting. He's won only six legs. A little bit sloppy. Still leave single to double. Bunting. And is he going to bow out in style? This for the match. Mark, we require 59. Oh. It's hit double 19, would you believe? Can his hit the double A? That is a fantastic performance. He knew where the camera was. Emma mentioned it there, and you mentioned it at the top of the show, John. The, the pace is going to suit Michael Smith. He, he got a bit embroiled in that match. It, yes, it was a comfortable score. Oh, I mean, he would have particularly enjoyed that game against Mathers Rasm, would he? Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to get at is that you can't really rate the average he had in that game because he, he just wasn't well, at ease. Four, and it, it was a different third. sort of a match. It was a good win by Michael. He'll be looking for an early break, and the opportunity's there. And it is an early break. 12 down, break a throw from Chris Dovey. Statement of intent already from Hollywood. Now it's under pressure. He might just get the one. He wasn't even sure, but he's made sure. And it is just the one. For the opening set for Chris Dovey. Oh, set that has come and gone. Smith gets the opportunity to level. He takes this, he will then throw for the opening set. Yeah, it's tops the one at target. I think he was genuinely surprised he, he missed by that much there. Well, the opener, he's missed one already. He's not missed again. And 102 plus average for Chris Dovey. He sees him take the opening set here against Michael Smith. Looking to hold in the opening leg of set two. Yeah, looking for a good setup play, but Doby, yeah, you're right. He was quite unlucky a lot of times, but I think there were good lessons learned. He took a lot of, of positives away from his his experiences in the Premier League. Double. Well, that hit the outer outer ring, the outer limits even. We saw the expression. The release obviously wasn't right there. We saw Michael Smith miss tops by a fair way in the opening set. That was even further, and this is a chance to break for Michael. Yeah. And he does break. No show of emotion. Big moment in the second set. Smith breaking early. Sets shaping up to be the opposite of the previous set, where Michael will be looking for a break, perhaps, to sweep the set, and Dobie will be trying to prevent it. And of course. Looks like the match so far for Chris. Yeah, yeah raised eyebrows there. Uh, he'd rather he'd like to see the next leg starting, even if he does lose here. Top yeah. set it's in, yeah. and that is 2 0. Yeah. So his first ton plus outshot yeah. 114 is a hold of throw. Now he's attacking to try and sweep set two. Good response in his second set from the world oh, champion. Four in top, 3 1 in favor to Michael Smith. That was Dobie's first, in fact. Now yeah, they're dancing now. 78, Mike Lee requires 73. And Smith with the lead. Tops for set two. Three, no. Three. That is a Richard squandered opportunity. 52. You said it mirrors set one, and that kind of does there because he had one dart send it all the way. Doby's opportunity. Key moment this because Doby'd have the darts. Yeah. And he pins the double eight. And all of a sudden, Chris Dobie's favourite for the set. Smith led soon early, he's been pecked back. He was just saying, John, he put himself in a position to apply some pressure on Chris Dobie. Well, it looks like if he's going to win this set, Michael, he's going to have to do it with the biggest all finish of all. Yeah, why not? Two set lead for Dolby. Huge moment. Huge moment for Dolby. And he's up to the task, and he has a two set lead. Still no reaction from Dolby.
but he's halfway to the quarterfinals. Smith led to Lexton Hill in that set, but it's Doby who wraps it up with three consecutive legs, and he leads the world champion by two sets to nil. Great first start. So wide open, and he does find the other side. So the bullseye. Michael Smith dodged one there. Just a bit of work to do, John. Is that a 114 in a match? One better. Just the wrong side. This is to strike first in set three against the darts as well for Doby. Yeah, caused some real havoc. Double eight. That's awkward. He'll go to the right just to get an open lane right into that double. And it certainly was straight down that line. Wasn't didn't project the right image to the opponent there. Yeah, the damage was done in the previous visit. You're right, John. Set up not good. And one two nine is awkward, isn't it? Yes, he got the down the ball. And it wasn't far off. Doby stays straight, minimum, without a ball, but a three-set lead here. And is always looking very composed, very, very. Double 18, and it's 3 nil. I mean, we, we just, we can't figure these games out, can we? we a couple of treble 19s. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even mind throwing at the 25 right this start. Yeah, 75 left, treble 17. Leaves 24. He called it in, John, and it was a brilliant setup. I'm about. Oh, what a shot this would be for Michael. Oh, brilliant for Michael Smith. He's been knocking on the door. He's been getting opportunities. He takes one, acknowledged by Chris Doby. What an important moment that could be. Doby was waiting on 24. Smith grabs a break at the beginning of the fourth set. Online, and the third would have maybe fell. You know, it's just one dart takes you out of a turn. Said it a few times in the past. A big turning point for Chris Doby. The match play, not this year, the year before, when he was 8 2 up on Rob Cross. He came out and fronted up and said he bottled that game and he said it wouldn't happen again. And he's now made of sterner stuff, illustrated by his run over the last 12 months and what he's doing here. And he's one leg away. This is brilliant from Chris Doby. No one expected this. He's on the brink of a 4 0 victory against the defending champion. Every bit of that comeback from the five. Well, he, went, he went for the lot. This may be to keep hold of his title, to keep himself in the tournament. He's got ball left to stay in. And matched up. Incoming your field for Chris Doby, minimum one. But it's double 16 to wrap it up. And it is right in the heart of it. Chris Doby, what a fantastic performance. He was getting outscored, perhaps, out averaged, but he wanted all the sets. And absolutely wonderful performance there.